Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music. Yes, happy song. I hope you remember I made a song something similar to like this. And that was a lovely song. And this one, just more happy. Really simple. And so, let's get into learn these chords. Basically, most of the stuff, okay, key of G. And I think first one, maybe you want to copy this one, all right? Capture this. This is it, okay? So I just made up key of G. So 1, 4, 1, 4, G, and C, G, C. And B minor 7 is called 3, 3 minor, right? And then 6. Just so, you know, um, I can't really explain without the theory, but just go 6. And then 2, 5. And then go to G again, G, C, G. And then there is a D minor 9, which is, this is sort of a little bit non-diatonic. That's the way you need to know just a little bit more theory. But just don't worry about that. But to just learn D minor 9, D flat 9. Okay, D flat 9. And then go to C major 9. So I made it a little bit spicy. So C major 9, C minor 6. It's a 4 minor. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, this is a tough one. G over B. Means G is triads. B is the bass. I show you. And then B plus 13, similar to lovely chord. And then, similar to Just Funky or any gospel tunes that, like A minor 7, G over B, C major 7, 6, 9, C over D. And then half step to A flat major 7th, G major 7th, and C dash, uh, C over D. Okay. Oops. So, okay. The, let's let's run the first one, right? Really simple way to do it. And G major. So I play, you know, my thumb just kind of muting in the bottom note, and I play G, B, D, F sharp, root, major third, fifth, and major seven. Okay, you need to know the degree. So here, a little closer. So I play root fifth. Major seven, major third, okay? Maybe fifth a little bit, okay? Then, again, like that. All right, same thing. Same thing, okay? And by the way, if you do this, it's a free tremolo, <laughs> just remember. And the B minor seven, so I make a little jazzier using two fingers. Second finger, third finger, root, flat seven, flat three, Five, that's a degree. Three. And then diatonic chord is E minor is diatonic, but this is dominant seventh, so a little bit jazzier. And I can't explain that yet, but just because I can't jump it. Okay, so now this is D, I'm sorry, E7 flat nine. So here, root, third, seven, flat nine. Everything about the interval, not, not fingering the mud. A minor seven, same way. Root, here you go, root, flat seven, flat three, five. D seven, flat nine. And sometimes I play sharp nine also. So flat nine is root, third, flat seven, flat nine, sharp nine. If you do this, natural nine. Already you learn three things. If you do this, regular dominant. So like that, root third seven plus seven root flat nine natural nine sharp nine. Okay, you got the four chords for free. That's a good deal. Now next section we go to G major seven. Same thing. I do same. Same. Okay. Now here, this is a really nice chord called D minor ninth. Very nice. Root flat three. Flat seven, ninth. Okay. Now all you have to do, see second, third, fourth finger, half step down. So now D flat nine. So here D flat is root, and then function is nine. Right? Root, third, flat seven, nine. Then I made 
little bit fancy, the major nine. Major ninth, okay. Root, third, major seven, and nine. Okay, so you're right. And then I just shift here. See this one, very useful. C minor six. So basically, this function is a four minor. Again, non diatonic, but just okay. And here, G. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't explain. Root, major six, even this minor chord, but six is major from the C. Okay? Just tricky. Then flat three and a five. Very nice. Then here, ta -da, nice chord. I use a lot. So this one, upper structure triads. Basically, G is a chord. Bass is a third of G, which is B. Confusing. Music is, you know, theory is slightly confusing, but it's easier than math, you know, really. It's less, less numbers, <laughs> really. So here, make sure this is a major third of G. Root, fifth and root. Very nice. Now here, like a lovely chord. 13, very fancy. Root, oops, root plus 7, major 3rd of 13. Okay? You got it. Great, great. And then, here's a tricky. Okay, so now, uh, once you get the chords, I just, you know, back down a little bit so you can see my strumming hand. A minor, right? So this this form is really good for kind of jazzy chords. Okay, really nice, you know, like that. So you basically fifth string you're muting. Okay, then you get third bass, right? And then here, this is very nice. C major seven six nine. So basically six nine, you know, this one because. You have a root six nine fifth. So I can, but to me, it's a function of major seven, so I write the major seven six nine. Now here, C over D. So I'm playing root plus seven nine eleventh. So like, sort of a sus four plus nine. So slowly, you know what? Actually, this this one nice too. This A minor, sorry about that. Yeah, this one. Just because this one, I'm not playing the second finger, you know? See, second finger I'm playing. So the first finger, third finger. Okay, you got that? Kind of hard to see. Yes. So root, fifth, flat seven, flat three, flat seven, root. This way, Step up jazz. This is jazz. And so two voices. This, this one. So something. Oh, I didn't explain this one. So this is like major seven. This is major seven also. This is nice. Root, root, major seven, major third and fifth. You know? So you go. Nice 
the trend, right? I messed up a little bit, but something like that. So, okay. Do you have any questions so far? No, you don't? Okay, that sounds good. Now, if you want to know more diatonic triads, diatonic seventh chord, these things I can explain, but it's like a become other lesson. But at least like, you know, you want to really understand like G major, a minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, and then F sharp diminish. But you don't worry about seventh one, but you know, definitely you need to know major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Okay? Then G major seven, A minor seven, B minor seven, C major seven, D seven, E minor, my F sharp minor seven flat five. That's like a one minor. Well, I'm sorry, 1 major 7, 2 minor 7th, 3 minor 7th, C, so 4 major 7th, and 5 7, and 6 minor 7th, and 7th, 7th minor 7 for a 5, tough to say, and you have to practice, everything you have to practice, so, and guitar wisdom, we have a theory section, theory, theory 1, music theory 1, that's the section, go to it, if you don't know where to go, always use um search use a search and then just to find out you know music theory one then if you type it comes up 25 detailed guitar with some um, theory lessons then you cover everything something like that okay i hope you enjoy this lesson happy song i just made up and um great 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 way to make these songs is a uh, taking long shower thinking about it and then it comes up afterwards <laughs> that's usually yeah anyway thank you so much for watching tomo fujita music here youtube channel but also thank you so much guys uh subscribing my site guitar wisdom and i'm going to make much more detailed lessons and fun lessons and i want to make more original tunes funk jazz blues everything else you know and right now i'm going to make more sight reading section with berkeley modern method guitar so you know if you work on your sight reading but also you if you work on your uh you know overall skill like that's great way to do um advance your technique sight reading and you increase your technique and your confidence level that's really great that makes you much better um you know make your work worth ethic better and um discipline levels go up very high and then you know acoustic guitar section too so here so that's my guitar orange wood eva mahogany live that's i'm using just in case if you don't know okay so see you soon. See ya.